Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and it's Wednesday morning, October 1st, 2014 and I'm out walking Cecil, the big guy. And uh, today is my first day of work at Flying Point Digital. And uh, I think maybe my morning videos are one of the most uh, likely to continue habits or practices or exercises that I've developed over the last uh, three to four months of being an independent SEO consultant and having time for such things and not having to worry about uh, talking about too much proprietary information because everything was mine. At this new place, they have this wonderful arrangement where I get to work uh, from home or my home office, really. It's not even a home office. Hope I'm going to try and keep that office I already have. And uh, <clears throat> every Friday, and immerse myself in technical things. And that's how I'll finish the Pipulate project. And I'm going to use these morning walks to sort of gather my thoughts and plan each day and sort of try and give each day a theme. Of course, you got to keep it open-ended because you don't know what the day is going to bring. But today is my first day in this role as SEO director. And uh, the search marketing exposition, SMX East is in town. And there's a bunch of people in town who I uh, have a limited window to see. And I'll probably get together for uh, at least drinks with them tonight after work. And um, what else? I'm going to have my subway drive uh, or commute. So I'll try and uh, do some long form writing again. It's been a while since I've done that. Uh, I actually started to do a little yesterday and I'm going to get my systems down for that. And these are some of the projects I'll probably um, transition my uh, Raspberry Pi Python work into. Once Pipulate is uh, well underway, there will be the occasional SEO function I crank out or capability like site crawls that I add to it. But the time will come for me to move on to other projects and I've been thinking about things like uh, Parallela for, uh, you know, a little bit of multi-core supercomputer style uh, computing. Um, and if I do projects that require sort of autonomous behavior, things like robots, things that need pattern recognition, I'll go that route. And I'm always going to keep looking for reasons to use that sort of hardware in my next project. But chances are I'm going to you make my next projects just, you know, personal publishing uh, things. Uh, hopefully areas that aren't done to death already in commercial or free and open source software, but things like having a place to write that is as private and secure as your own mind. So when you think and you got to capture ideas, you got all these choices of where to put it these days and like two thirds of them are going to end up on the cloud and potentially shared with people you don't mean to. And then there's long term questions like, is that data going to be around forever? Do you want it to be? Is that the right thing? The wrong thing? Well, maybe if it's around forever, but only in your hands. But if it's only in your hands, is it really secure in terms of both data leaks and loss of original files? So there's two types of security generally. There is, you know, um, keeping it out of the eyes of others, things where, you know, encryption uh, come into play. That is one style of security. But the other style of security is not losing the data in the first place, which is like backups and having it in more than one place. And so I think I'm going to ca tackle both of those pieces. Security is a recurring in, uh, a recurring theme on many of the things I do, uh, primarily getting it in more than one place. Uh, things like Git, you know, I talk about the short stack, uh, Linux, Python, Vim, and Git. Well, Git is a wonderful way to make sure that all your stuff is in more than one place. Uh, there's some other tools out there that can help with that, but I think I'm going to focus on Git for that. And then there's uh, uh, security a la 
encryption. And of course, you want to capture your ideas in a digital form these days and through almost any uh, device, any channel in, any phone you own, iPhone or Android, any uh, desktop you sit down at, your own laptop, something you don't own, uh, or even if you capture it on paper and then take a picture of it with a camera phone or, or something. There's just so many ways to do idea capture, and that's just visual and, and drawing. Then there's also video like this and uh, recording your voice. So uh, I believe I'm going to tackle, it's not exactly the personal cloud project, it might end up becoming that, but it's going to be idea capture with both forms of security. Uh, and then all the publishing mechanisms uh, connected to that so you can carefully and deliberately let out those portions of it into the right channels that you wish to, like this into YouTube and uh, long form writing into WordPress or maybe a LinkedIn article. And, uh, you know, people try and automate these things and I always bring up the point, there is no true automation. If there was true automation, if that were possible, robots would be taking our place. Uh, everything is only semi-automated. We're just making systems to make a few basic principles of how we work, how we uh, manage our, our tools and our data more smooth, a little more convenient. Uh, we are never making, we are rarely making things happen automatically under our nose on an ongoing basis because then things go out of control and mistakes are made. We are both adjusting systems and data around us and we are adjusting ourselves. It's much like the uh, old expression, if you want something done, ask a busy person to do it. Well, that's because they get in this mode of thinking and working and being where they're tracking you know, 10,000, 100,000 things in their mind at any given time. And they're used to it. They're doing it by habit. And it's a, a good place to be because, you know, throwing one or two more things on top of uh, when you're already tracking 10,000 very important things, chances are you're gonna get it done. You're gonna get it done properly, hopefully uh, in time. And, uh, you know, it doesn't get lost in this kind of amorphous mess, which is uh, the, the lack of system and the lack of those habits uh, to quickly, uh, you know, dispense with or dispatch all those different things that come up. So anyway, these are my thoughts for this morning. I want to become that busy person who you go to, to know you can get things done and achieve a sort of mastery with my short stack, Linux, Python, Vim, and Git. Uh, and use those repeatedly to improve all these kinds of uh, organic flowing systems I'll be using to capture ideas, publish, and of course do search optimization better and better. So thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you again soon and don't forget to subscribe.